friends, welcome back to Homeschoolology. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Nikki, I'm a homeschooling mom of four. We usually focus on secular homeschooling around here, but I also like to share other things like our lives in general, my life and motherhood and all those things in between. Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you um, a resource that I have used and loved. Um, I've shared about this resource before, but today we're gonna to be talking um, specifically about um, one topic and we're going to be comparing and con contrasting a few pieces and this is the big fat notebook series and today we're going to be talking about math so I um, have a middle schooler soon to be high schooler and so we have used a bits and pieces of these things I've used um, big fat notebooks before for science and for you know I have the whole the whole thing the whole shebang because I love them that much um, and they're relatively inexpensive. So they're a great resource to have on hand, not very expensive, highly, highly recommend them. Love how the, the fun layout that they have, all those good things. So, but we're gonna talk about math. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I wanted to show you a few things that are like a little bit different between the middle school and the high school version, but also just to kind of show you, you know, around. As you can see, most of the copies I found at Costco and they're like 11 bucks. So 11 bucks for a full textbook. And I mean, it includes, it includes everything guys, the whole, a whole geometry. It's everything you need to know to ace geometry in one big fat notebook. So there's a high school series and then there's a middle school series. Okay. So the middle school series is just math. This is first, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Geometry of course is just one subject at the high school level. The other one they have for math is everything you need to know to ace pre-algebra and algebra. So this one um, is, well, it's technically two subjects, but you know, and that's a debate whether it's one or two. But what I wanted to show you, so what um, what resource that I that they put out more recently is this workbook version of the notebook version. So what I wanted to do is kind of show you if you could use just this or if you need this to go along with it and then how they compare so because um these two line up perfectly so like the chapters in here and the chapters in here are exactly the same but these two the algebra version of the workbook and then the pre-algebra algebra workbook do not line up and that was a surprise to me so that's part of why i wanted to make this video to show you um, that the differences between the two as you can see we are currently using this book to do um, science or science math with my um, oldest daughter and so i wanted to give you guys kind of a look in these i've done that before i have a video on the on the whole middle school series i'll link it here um, but i wanted you guys to kind of see like the differences between the two options here um, and so you know what to expect when you're picking these up. So I'm going to switch over to a down view. Let me get that set up and then we'll chat some more. All right. So as you can see, these are basically the same concept. They're math for middle school. Um, they look similar and they are similar because if you go to the inside um, to the table of contents, you will see that Sorry for the shadow. I really need to find a better way to to do these down views. Um, but you will see that unit one is the number system. Unit one, number system. Unit two, ratios. Unit two, ratios. Um, that it just continues on. They're the same. They match up. So um, you could absolutely use this um, together in conjunction with each other. So let's go to chapter one and see types of numbers. Let's go to chapter one here types of numbers it completely aligns so you could have your student read this and then come over here and do the workbook it does give kind of like a um, examples and a little bit of like a summary here but i do think that you would want to have this textbook because this is where the most of the information is so you can see there is a summary of what happens over here but it this gives you a lot more information as to um what is being talked about and what is being covered and then this does have um questions here i don't love the fact that the answers are right here but i also love the fact that the answers are right here so they can go check but you know they can also cheat so just be mindful of that um in this book it gives you actual space to work out the problems so this is like actually like a consumable where this is more like a textbook now do you have to use this and consume it no you could absolutely use it like a textbook but 
it does have the um, questions here. And so what I do love about it is that the answers are in the back of the book. So it's going to take a little bit more effort for them to cheat <laughs> because they're going to have to go searching in the back of the book for finding the answers. But it is still, it, they're still able to go and check their answers, which is, of course is really helpful when you're talking about, um, you know, having students become more and more independent. So these two textbooks align really, really, really well together. I do think you need both of them if you're going to utilize this one. You don't necessarily need this one, but you know, I think together they make a pretty thorough curriculum um, that you could absolutely do. I, it's not going to last you three years, so this is maybe something I would do in my eighth grade year or my seventh grade year, depending on when you're wrapping up and moving on into algebra. Um, but yes, this can be used as a full curriculum if you use both of them. So since those lined up, I expected these to line up. I was surprised to find out that they don't necessarily. They do, but they don't, okay? So the beginning of this book, your textbook here, starts with um, the arithmetic um, and then the number system and then ratios and things like that. This book over here doesn't pick up until unit four, okay? So there, then they start lining up. So x, uh, exponents, linear equations, then it starts matching up a lot better. Um, so I will show you a little bit inside this book since these are new and I haven't shared them on my channel before, but as you can see, it has a little bit of a summary here and then it has practice problems. So it's laid out very similarly to the other one. The solutions is in the back of the book um, as it was with the, with the previous workbook, okay? Um, and so they are here so the students can go and check their work. Um, but yes, you're going to need um, this book because this is where, let's go to that first one. So the workbook one doesn't actually pick up until page 428 into this book, okay? But you, as you can see, this book has lots more descriptions, examples, walkthroughs of, of the process before it gets to the practice problems. Answers again are right there at the back. So, but you are gonna want this one to go along with this one because this has more information where this one is just kind of like a review in a workbook. So yes, you could use both of these together, but understand that like the pre-algebra portion is extensive in this book and not covered in this book. So you wouldn't need this one until you got, you know, well into this book here. So I just wanted to show you that those did not align as, as much as these, this, you know, that middle school version does align. And just because I have it out in here to show you, I'm going to show you the geometry one. Um, it's, is broken down the same way. I love how colorful these are. I love how easy they are to follow along. Um, I love how it lays out each unit so you know what you're going to be covering. Um, but as you can see, it's all a graph form or like table form, easy to follow, easy to read, easy to understand, easy to reference. They're just, they're just so great. I really, really, really love these books. Um, so this is the first chapter that we're gonna flip through here. Lots of examples, lots of different ways to do it. Uh, yeah, and then you have your questions here that you need to answer and then your answers are on that next page so you can check your work. So that is the Big History Notebook. This is the entire math series, okay? So you have your um, middle school math, your algebra, and your geometry. So you can cover all of those, like, I would say seventh to 10th grade, all using these books. Is this enough for a full, full curriculum? It could be. You still, you might need to be the one that steps in to help explain things a little bit better if, the, if your student's not understanding. But you could also um, look at like uh, online videos or things like that that could help supplement this material. All right, so that is it for this video today. I hope you guys found that helpful. I know that um, my previous Build Your Library or your Big Fat Notebook video um, is pretty popular, so I hope this helped. I, again, have the whole series. I've done um, like just a general review of them. I've done the history, like, because they, they 
updated the history so I showed a comparison I think I showed a comparison of those um, but um, I also have done um, now math so if there's any other ones that you want to see please let me know down in the comments while you're down there I hope you would hit that subscribe button ring that notification bell and give this video a thumbs up it helps YouTube know that you like this kind of content and it lets me know that you want me to keep making it if there's anything else that you would like to share about the big fat uh, notebooks let me know down in the comments have have you used these before with your students have you know how did they feel about them my daughter says she doesn't like them but you know they I love them so much and she's learning a lot from them so even though she doesn't like them I I think she really deep down does so anyways that is all I'm gonna share I hope you'll come back and talk to me again soon and I will talk to you guys later bye